The signing of the standard gauge railway contract comes on the back heels of controversies that stalled the project after the Ministry of Works, Contracts Committee and the Solicitor General declined to approve the contract over ambiguity on the way the costs were quantified. Chinese Ambassador Zhao Yali believes the delays affecting Ugandans by a grim poor transport sector by the standard gauge railway will help increase the regional connectivity and enhance regional integration as well as reducing the cost of doing business. I think the Chinese government will provide uh, 3.8 billion US dollars to support that project. And that project will come from Nairobi to Malaba, from Malaba to Kampala. Kampala, Kigali, well, that is, will be a region. So I was quick to mention that the ambiguity in the leadership, if not avoided, could still affect the 3.3 billion US dollar project implementation. For the transformation and industrialization of your society, you need that kind of modern system of transport. It is called railway. The government has to effect the borrowing process of the commercial loan from the Chinese government to effect the implementation of the project. The Chinese company just signed the EPC contract. The next step is for the government to apply for the concessional for the loan from the Chinese government. That is, we just finished the, the first part. Uganda's economy is worth 63.3 trillion Ugandan shillings. The 38.5 trillion coupled with Uganda's current debt of 20 trillion implies that Uganda's debt sustainability threshold will be exceeded and this exorbitant loan for the country to invest in the Liri would potentially burst the economy. The Deputy Speaker Jacob Bolanya says every actor in the project should ensure there is a timely accomplishment. No moment must be lost. And the struggle to move this matter forward begins from where you are. It begins from where you are. If you're in the civil society organization, that is your front line. State Minister for Works John Biabagambi insists the compensation for those affected by the standard gauge Leary project could be done not to derail the process. At every compensation, Echkuru, government, uh, Northern Code Infrastructure Projects, but take a co um sorrow could be interview. A casenta co kagenda kuzimba standard gauge railway. A teach cool kagenda so kakasasuchi about Baburijo compensation. Five per cent of the current existing dilapidated and inefficient metal gauge livery counts for over ninety-five per cent of all freight movement in the East African region. And this is however highly inadequate. The grim of the state of the affair in the transport sector is also responsible for the stiff falling industrial development sector and especially high youth unemployment, leading to high transport and costs of doing business in the East African region. Aaron Stabarka, WBS Television.